What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, I bet no one else has a video on this one yet. We have the new Aya farming method for the upcoming Primer Surgeon's return. Uh, this was actually in the patch notes, and hardly anyone noticed it. Uh, there was a new way you'll be able to stockpile, like, relic packs and Aya when Primer Surgeon's comes out. We know Primer Surgeon's is on the way, we just don't know when it is. But that's good, because you're gonna need some time to prepare for this method. So, before we get into it, thanks for all the support lately, guys. Really awesome how big the channel's, like, support's been lately. Really, thank you so much. Um, also, check out the live stream channel as well. We had a huge live stream last night, and I'll be live again tonight for some more Warframe with Twitch drops. Okay, so as far as Aya and what Aya is, I'm going to go, like, the fastest explanation ever. There's an event called the Primer Surgeons. This resource right here is Regal Aya that costs money. This stuff down here is normal Aya. You can farm this in game. It's only farmable during the event, and you can trade in this resource to pick your relic you want from the unvaulting set. There's going to be more relics than just these ones available, okay? That's what it is. The event's not here. It was confirmed by D.E. Danielle. It will be here before the end of the year, and I'm stuck behind this console. So there was a new thing that was added in the Veilbreaker update that a lot of people didn't notice in the patch notes. So, and this is going to be more of a thing for people that already have this prepared. You can technically start working towards this now. But every, every syndicate in uh, the open world, so there's the Deimos, uh, the Ostron, and Fortuna. So three open worlds, Corpus, uh, Infested, and Grenier. They have added a new thing to the gem store on all these vendors that you're going to be, if you are a big relic farmer or big Aya farmer or you want to get this stuff uh, for free or easily, more easily than without this, go over to these guys. And they have added this in the recent update. For 20,000 rep, now you can buy a relic pack from these guys. And the way these relic packs are, it makes me think they will have Aya available in them at launch. As you can see, we got a Rubico Prime relic right there. That is a unvaulted relic um, because Rubico Prime and Chroma and stuff is currently available. Once Prime Resurgence is out, instead of being a Rubico relic here, this would be an Aya. At 20,000 rep per pack, we even got a Korra Axie relic there. That's pretty good. So my suggestion to you, and I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, credit the person who thought this in my Twitch chat earlier. Ness Gamer, he thought this idea, and it's a big brain strat. Save up your uh, your open world syndicate rep until we until Prime Resurgence comes out. And honestly, just get a bunch of reps stocked up. You can go do Profit Taker for a bunch of debt bonds. Uh, for the other places, there's other things to do as well, like Dymos has a bunch of bounties you can do. Um, yeah, uh, go over here. This is the guy you're, you're going to do a bunch of Profit Taker if you have access to it. You can trade them in for rep, or even buy. Uh, you can even buy these uh, debt bonds from him for rep. Either way, get your rep, get stacked up, and then have a bunch of rep go ready to go. Every day you can turn in about 30k rep. That's gonna be another relic pack every day from each syndicate. That there's three of them. That's three. That's three relic packs per day. Um, and technically, every couple of days you'll get an extra one too. If it's 30,000 rep and they cost 20k each, so. Um, that, that's going to be a big, a big uh, like extra bonus right there because you're doing, you're basically just loading into the zone, and you're just going to, you're going over buying, the, you're turning in your rep, you're going over and buying the relic pack, and then you're getting out of there. You're going to go, uh, you know, open those relics, for the, uh, the re IR relics you just got. So um, that's a really big deal that I don't think a lot of people noticed, and it is on all three of the um, the open worlds. So we're going to go over to Old Man Soonbot. I think a lot of people might have stuff stick, uh, sitting around for. Uh, like, you know, you, you can actually turn in fish. Actually, I, that's what I've been doing. I've been turning in some fish. Uh, I should not be turning this in right now, but I'm just showing you it works on every planet. Um, I, went, I did a bunch of fishing on Fortuna last night, and I got a couple days worth of rep turn-ins. Um, animal hunting is really good for rep, but the thing about animal hunting on at least Fortuna is you get the rep all up front. If, you, um, if you're like, oh, I want to I stockpile rep for the next day, that's where catching fish will come into play. Now, a lot of these fish are, like, worth literally nothing. Um, the biggest, the, the best fish for for rep are glapids on uh, on the plains. This is like, look at this one right here. 2,000 rep for one fish. Other ones like, the other one's like 1,000 rep for a fish. And that, these are both considered rare fish. Like the, the little fish, that's like 50 rep for a fish. So not even comparable really. Um, so catch some glapids if you want to get some good rep. There's other fish too. You, you can also buy these from other players. Uh, Merc rays are available during the day uh, and the night. So those can be an easy one to go for on, on the plains. And there's also, like I said, there's on Dymos. Now, Dymos is probably the most annoying syndicate to level up, I'd say, uh, because like it's just it's just overly like they they pick weird weird things to label these things as. So I'm gonna go to Dymos and show you some ways you can level up. Uh, my main one's gonna be just do bounties. Hopefully, you have a bunch of uh, mother tokens stocked up. 
and you don't want to be regularly checking grandmother's shop to, to uh, do a conversion of like, okay, here's my mother tokens, turn them into grandmother tokens. If you've never done Daimos before, it's probably sounding really weird what I'm saying right now. Um, but believe me, that's what you want to do. Um, so the way this place works is basically all these vendors, there's a, there's a, how many vendors we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, technically seven. We got like six vendors that do tokens. You can get those tokens from each of the vendors, bring them over here, and you exchange them for grandmother tokens. For example, I got uh, this one right here, 10 mother tokens. Those give you, I think, like 100 each. And I believe the grandmother token is like over 1,000 each. So it's actually technically a good conversion rate. So you can go for that. Thank you, dear. But look at these, they're, they're labeled weird stuff. You're going to have to ho hover over it to know what it even is and if it's even going to be worth your time. As far as like these ones, I usually go for father tokens and mother tokens because those are so easy to get. Um, but it's going to really be up to you. This is the one you're going to want to regularly be checking. Um, and I believe, yeah, you turn them in here. So one grandmother token is going to be yeah, 1,500 and then one mother token is 100. So that is definitely a conversion rate that's favorable for you where that one right there was turn in 10 mother tokens for one grandmother token, you're getting like double rep pretty much if you turn it into checking that stuff. So really tedious and annoying, but that's how they designed it. And then the guy that sells the relic packs on Dimos is this guy over here, the uh, the robot. And yep, there you go, got those relic packs. So this is actually like, this is twofold good because <laughs> three Tenora relics at the same time, that's hilarious. This is twofold good. Not only is this good, a good Aya farm, this is also a good rep sync. If someone was like, if, if you've been like rep capped on like some of these open world syndicates for a while and you're like, man, I just, I don't need any more kit gun parts. I don't want to buy any more Martyr Symbiosis. I don't want to buy more of these random mods I don't need. Here you go. This is a great use for it. Who doesn't need relics? Okay, maybe a lot of people don't need relics because we're already over, like we have way more relics than we're ever going to need. But specifically for Aya, I think this might be pretty nice. And I mean, if you just want to like drain your rep, at least you can see what relics you're getting on like those Twitch drops and just open immediately and go in your inventory. So, um, yeah, as far as like things to buy from Father NPC, I don't ever buy the stuff that says uh, Foss Residue. Thankfully, he has no Foss Residue right now, so I'm going to buy all of these with resources. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Foss Residue and Volum Residue is not affected by a resource booster for some reason. I believe it's to not break the Isolation Vault uh, opening encounter, but either way, yeah. So as far as like the fastest rep, um, we were trying this last night. Um, for, for, for Tuna, you can get about 7,000 rep, I think it is, for one in uh, Kuberdon Incarnadon uh, capture. And I don't really do animal captures, but it was not that bad, really. Um, I, I'm not going to make a video on it because I would not recommend people to do animal captures, but I'm just saying it technically is a good amount of rep. Um, and if you do it here as well, like remember Sleep Arrow from Ivara works on these animals. Uh, I believe Equinox's sleep ability also works, and there's all, there's always a Trike gun if you just want to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, catching these guys, I believe you turn in their, their tokens for... Uh, yeah, capture Dimos Wildlife. See, look at this stuff. These things are, are labeled so weirdly. How would I want to click on Dimos Wildlife? And you can trade in your tags to get sun tokens, uh, depending on which ones you caught. This, is, this one's going to be definitely... If you are okay with doing this... Uh, I've been told this is pretty decent rep-wise. I, I really don't like the fishing on Dimos either. I find it very weird and confusing with the animal. Uh, the, the fish are like floating around in the air. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say, like, do bounties. Do bounties uh, with, with mother token tokens. You get like 150, I think, at the end of the, the level 5 one. Um, and once the Aya event comes out, this actually might be dropping uh, Aya as a reward. The Axie G5, that might be a, a Aya uh, reward. And you're getting tokens. So you're technically doing double duty. But the only problem is you're, you're bottlenecked by rep caps per day. If you have, if 30,000 rep is like how much I get right now, that's going to be like every three days I'll get, um, actually every two days I'll get three relic packs because they're 20,000 rep each and I'm, I'm at 30, 30k rep. I'm a little bit over 30k rep, I think it's like 32k rep, but you know, it, let's not nitpick too much here. All right, guys, hope you found the video helpful. Uh, I think this will be a good farming method going forward um, if you have access to this stuff. The thing is, if you don't, if you're not high rank with these uh, open world syndicates, you don't get as much possible rep cap. I think it's like, if you're at max rank, it's like 132k. Let's just look at, um, yeah, right here. 132k for maxed out rank. The lower ranks are like 99k. So you're going to want to stockpile this all the way up to the cap before Resurgence comes out. Uh, if you are if you have it st stacked up when Resurgence comes out, that's six relic packs right there per faction. Per faction. So for that's like 18 relic packs on day one. You can keep turning it in every single day until, until Resurgence goes away. And you will be swimming in Aya. Um, in addition to any other farming you're doing, it will be a really big boost to your uh, Relic and IR reserves. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for the support lately, and yeah, take it easy. Peace.